There are technology careers out there that are really good, but almost nobody talks about them. And sometimes these are the careers that are the best ones to go into because the ones that people talk about a lot tend to get saturated. So here are some great careers where you can make six figures or more a year in the technology industry that almost nobody talks about. Now, if you enjoy this type of content and you want me to make more of it, let me know by gently tapping that like button and commenting down below. And if you haven't done it already, go ahead, hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell. And one thing that really helps is sharing the video because I don't have a giant marketing team like a lot of these big universities and people who have different opinions than me. So it really does help if you share the video. Video. All right, so the first one that we're gonna be talking about is cloud technology related careers that are specifically in healthcare. All right, so a recent Washington Post article talked about how there are nearly 1.7 million jobs that are related to cloud computing and cloud technology that are not filled. And there is a huge demand for workers to fill these jobs, especially in healthcare. And it's especially important in healthcare because of the fact that information has to be easily accessible, but it also has has to be really, really safe and secure because it is extremely important that you keep people's medical information safe. So one career that falls under this umbrella is going to be a healthcare cloud engineer and they make about $122,000 a year. And by the way, if you're a little confused on what career path you wanna go down, this is probably one of the most common questions I get on my channel. I created a free six step guide that you can download. It's gonna be down in the description below. It's gonna be a free six step guide on how to choose your dream career career. It basically distills the process that I go through in consultations and in my paid products. And it's all going to be for free for you of how I help people choose the best career for them. It probably will not be available for long. So definitely get it while you still can. It's going to be down in the description below. All right. So the second one on the list I'm going to talk about is working as a health informatics specialist. Now there are several different careers that fall under this umbrella. This is one that you can actually get into with a little bit less education. So I wanted to kind of include this one on the list for those who don't want to necessarily go to school for a long time. But you can become a health informatics technician and you'd be responsible for managing healthcare data. You would basically help to classify it, code it, uh, keep it organized, make sure it is quality data, it's accurate, it's accessible, and most importantly, make sure that it is secure. Now you can make six figures with this one, especially later on in your career. But like I said, this is one that requires a little bit less education. So you can expect to make about $80,000 a year year as a health informatics technician. But you do see on the right, that the range is pretty wide and many people are making more than $100,000 a year. So we are seeing a lot of opportunity with technology careers that are within the healthcare industry. So that was the first two on the list. Number three is going to be a chief information officer or CIO. Now, a lot of people have heard of CEO, which is the chief executive officer or CFO, which is the chief financial officer or COO, which is the chief operating officer, but you may not have heard of the CIO, which is the chief information officer. And basically this is a top level executive that oversees the information technology needs within a company. And they oversee improvements in cybersecurity as well as maintaining the company's IT infrastructure. They also might lead teams in developing new processes to improve the company's IT infrastructure as well. Now, as you can imagine, executives tend to make a lot of money and CIOs make about 270 thousand dollars a year according to Glassdoor. Now another career that's very similar is the next one on the list which is a chief technology officer or CTO. Now this is a little bit different than IT but there's a lot of overlap with the CTO the last one we talked about but they tend to focus more on the software and hardware side of things when it comes to the needs of the company and they can expect to make about two hundred and eleven thousand dollars a year. Next one on the list is also going to be relatively similar and that is the chief security officer or CSO. They also might be known as the Chief Information Security Officer or CISO, depending on the company that you work at. Now, they are very similar to the last two, but they focus a lot more on the company's security, right? So they're gonna be focusing a lot on cybersecurity, making sure that the company does not have any data leaks. We've seen a lot of scandals in the last five to 10 years where a bunch of data from customers has been leaked, and that has led to billions of dollars in losses overall. And as a Chief Security officer, you can expect to make about $174,000 per year. So as you can see, lots of opportunities here in technology related careers for people who are really ambitious and they want to kind of rise up into the executive level within a company. And I do see this trend continuing into the future. I think you're going to see a lot of CEOs 
that come from a computer science or technology based background. Number six on the list is going to be an analytics consultant. Now an analytics consultant is somebody who is highly skilled and has a very good idea and overview of the entire process of data collection and the processing of data. Okay, so basically they might be focusing on the data collection side of things and figure out what the best way to collect that data is, or they might be focusing on the other side, which is after all the data is collected, how can you get the most out of it? And they can expect to make about $101,000 per year. Number seven on the list is going to be a clinical informaticist. And clinical informaticists work with data as well as technology to streamline the workflow and improve the patient experience as much as possible. Now, one thing that I think is really interesting here is a lot of people who become clinical informaticists actually have previous experience in healthcare. So some of the other careers I talked about isn't necessarily the same thing. These are usually people who are kind of like they have their experience in technology and then they kind of migrate over to health. Clinical informaticists generally start off in healthcare so they have a much more well-rounded idea of what goes on when you're actually treating a patient. Because to be honest with you, as somebody who has worked in healthcare myself, I've had experiences where business people kind of come in and they tell you to do certain things that you know are not going to work. And if they had even a little bit of healthcare experience, they would know it's not going to work either. So a lot of the time as a clinical informaticist, you will probably be working with what's known as an EHR or electronic health record system. And this is basically a very efficient way for you to collect, store, retrieve, and share data between healthcare professionals. And to be honest with you, there is pretty much no way that somebody can come from the outside without having having healthcare experience and be able to efficiently design something like this. And so as a clinical informaticist, you have a super, super rare skill set. You have that healthcare background, but you also have the technology side of things down as well. And you can expect to make about $128,000 a year. Number eight on the list is going to be a site reliability engineer or SRE. Now SRE is very similar to DevOps engineering. That's one I've talked about on the channel quite a bit. And basically they're going to help companies a lot with deploying products as quickly and efficiently as possible, making sure these products have as few bugs as possible right off the bat, and the few bugs that they do have are fixed really quickly. And basically, SRE is a data-driven approach to information technology. And they try to make the IT infrastructure as solid as possible so that when the company scales, it doesn't break. And site reliability engineering is an outlier when it comes to how long it takes you to get into the career versus how much you can make. You can see it on this little graph here. It's one of the highest paying careers and it doesn't take as long as many of the others to get into it. So how much does an SRE make? They make about $108,000 a year according to Glassdoor. This is one that has extremely high demand, one of the best kind of software developer type roles that you can go into. And there's so many different subspecialties out there for software engineering, software development, and this is one of them. Check out my other videos right here. I made them just for you. Go ahead, gently tap that like button, hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and comment down below any thoughts, comments, criticisms, etc. that you have on the video. And I will see you next time. <laughs>